what we have here is a little tiny solar panel, and we have uh, the, uh, the solder points in the back, and the fan had broken off. This came out of a little tiny robot, and uh, what I'm going to show you is how to put these wires back on that broke off. Okay, so the first thing you're, do, you're going to do is, all this um, silicone has to be taken off. This is protection, okay, uh, for the wires that were on there. And when you move, remove this, you can see the other end of the wire right there. Okay, that we have to actually deinstall de or unsolder. So we're going to use a device called the solder sucker to do that. All right, and uh, we need to get get those pieces of wire out. All right, so those are those are cleaned off. That's a, that's simple. Oh, use your nails. These wires are so thin, it's ridiculous. I already did one. What you need to do is actually um, take the insulation off the other. And what I do is just use my nail. You want to go up probably an eighth of an inch and just just pull it. Use both your nails if you need to and pull it off. And there it is. All right, just get all of that off because we need to tint those wires. Okay, we're going to tint them just like I did in another another video. All right, so um, all right, so that's proper prepared for it. Now, what you could do, if you notice, there's a negative and a positive. Black is always negative. You can put that on there and put the black on there. All right, hold those with your. Um, uh, it, I don't, I'm really hoping the current doesn't go through your fingers. It's not going to hurt you, but I don't know if uh, LED lights will actually trigger this thing. So if we put it up it should run, but LED lights probably are not going to kick out what it needs. And I don't even know if I'm still on the on the thing, and I might need to actually get some more of the silicone off of that one. Uh, definitely when the solder hits it, it's going to melt the plastic, and we need to put silicone back on there. Alright? Alright, this is what you call a solder sucker. Uh, you, you trigger it by pushing this down all the way. You put this on whatever you're desoldering, and you hit the button right here, and a pops the lever and the solder goes inside. Alright, uh, it's better to have a, I, I have a glass ashtray I'm going to put here to actually deposit what I suck off of that. And um, notice I have a cork board here. Don't, that's not a good idea to really solder on this, so just be careful. I do have a thing to hold my soldering iron and observe the safety factors here, okay? Well ventilated area, my windows, doors are open, the fans running in the back actually sucking air out so new air comes in and um, also uh, treat an iron like it's always hot uh, that's so important to do so many people burn their hands by touching the, uh, the point so uh, just use those pre precautions and I'm going to show you how to do this I have tested the light I mean uh, the fan uh, under some halogen lights over our bar so it does work and that's something you want to make sure that it does work I really hope my camera doesn't tip over. I have it up pretty steep here to, to see us do this. I'm going to be wrapped around it too, so I hope I don't hit it. All right, so there's a few things we need to do. Number one, we need to desolder this. Then we need to tint, tint these wires. All right, then solder them to that. All right, so uh, um, of course, after that, we need to put the silicone on there to protect them so they don't do that. Only this time, uh, the manufacturer or the robots that made this to put silicone right on top of the wires. We're going to put the uh, silicone going down the runs uh, to keep the wires where they're supposed to be. So here we go. We're taking our soldering iron. We have our uh, solder sucker triggered. I'm reaching around. I'm probably blocking some of the light too. So we need to make this hot. And be careful. You don't want to leave this on too long because it is a very short circuit. You don't want to yeah, you desolder down here. So um, as long as we stay still. Okay, let's empty that. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to make it a good video for you. So what happens is just uh, you see the you see the solder just melt. You hit the button. Okay, so that bump, bump is gone and solder came out of that. Let's do the other side here. As soon as it stops, all right, we got it. It's clean. 
Yeah, a little bit down the run, right down here. I don't know if that will just come right off. Yep. Okay, so now now it's clean. So now what we need to do is solder our... Let's get that out of the way. We need to solder our points here. Ooh, I just touched the iron. That's what I said. Be careful, but I did not do it intentionally. So, didn't get burned too bad. I <laughs> just got to be careful of that. Uh, got to make sure that we're still getting this on. The camera fell a couple of times, so sorry about that. Wait, I'm glad I don't feel that that much. All right, I have some uh, resin core solder. I'm going to put a little bit on that. Once it, uh, once it's on it, okay, and then I'm going to take this, tint it. You make sure the wires are all together. Okay, you see I uh, burnt the insulation back on that a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, they're tinted. It took a little while. Uh, the, the solder point's not that, um, not that clean. All right, now the tricky part, okay? We have tint on the um, on the wires themselves. We shouldn't need too much on here to, to get it. Now this is just a I'm putting solder the solder iron back so I don't get burnt again. Um, we're going to point our I don't have clamps or anything to hold these. So what I'm going to do is one at a time. I bent the wire down so it'll lay on that. Um, and we could have could have put a blob of uh, solder on it. We have little beads of solder here. Okay, um, just want to get them out of the cork. So, uh, so we're gonna just put a little dot of solder on that, provided those things stay where they're supposed to. So here we go. Put that down. Okay, it's two different metals that we need to get the same temperature to stop a cold solder joint. Okay, so that's on. That's how you do it. Put the solder iron away so we don't get burnt. Angle this guy around. He's on there. That's cool. All right. So now, uh, the, remember, the black is on negative and the red is on on the positive. So now we're going to do the same here. the wire in there. Okay, I want to want to melt that again so the wire stays in there. I think the wire is in there, but I don't think it's all the way down. So uh, to do this, you might want to get a pair of needle nose helps out. Okay, take your needle nose, grab that, your side of the iron. You don't need any other any other solder on that. So now that's down. Yeah, I see it all the way through. We're good. Blow on it, let go. And we're good. Now we have a uh, bare wire that's back. That's okay because we're gonna put silicone on this. So so the movement around here doesn't pull those, doesn't break those again. All right, so let, let me go get some silicone. We'll come back to that. I really hope I have enough light here for you guys to see everything. I think we do, if the camera doesn't fall again, right? Now, I did take it over to uh, Halogen Light and uh, verified that this little motor does work. So um, what we're going to do now is put some silicone on it. I really hope that this silicone is going to come out of the tube. And it is, and little squirts. Okay, uh, it is wet. So we're going to put some, I'm going to go up the line. I'll smear it on the wire. Put it up the line. Okay, the idea behind this is give the wire strength. 
Silicone is non-conductive. So even if these were touching each other, it would not conduct. The electricity would not, and the current would not go through it. So uh, what it's doing now is making making a, a, a good, uh, when this dries, that wire is not going to pivot at the solder point, and it gives the insulation around the wire that is uh, is bare. So, uh, so when this is dry, it's ready to go into whatever mechanism it's going to go into, or uh, be a little tiny fan, which I'm probably going to make into, uh, use some kind of a box or something to put this in and make my own little tiny fan. That would be kind of a cool thing. All right, so uh, I hope you liked the video. It's, uh, it's another soldering video, completely educational, and uh, definitely subscribe if you want to see more uh, new videos coming up. All right, take care. Bye.